Hello, mate. Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, you're watching Video Game Subscription Wars, and I wanted to do a quick video on the PS Plus Collection. This is a little bit of news that came out at the PS5 launch event and somehow passed me by, so I have only just found out about it, um, and, and it's kind of interesting. So the PS Plus Collection is launching alongside the PS5 and is another benefit for PS Plus subscribers that gives you um, a big group of PS4 games to play, to download to your PS5 for free. So that means anyone with a PS5 and a PS Plus subscription can play all these games, God of War, uh, Persona 5, The Last Guardian, Until Dawn, Uncharted 4, The Last of Us Remastered, Resident Evil 7, Bloodborne, Days Gone, Detroit Become Human, and a few more, but they're the big ones in terms of PlayStation exclusives. You'll notice a lot of those are PlayStation exclusives. And this is great, but for me, it's kind of brought up more questions than anything because this kind of flies in the face of PS Now, PlayStation's subscription and streaming service. A lot of these games have been on the PS Now service, but if you don't know, uh, PlayStation or Sony decide to uh, restrict the amount of times a lot of these games are on the service. So God of War and Uncharted were both on there for, I wanna say three months. For them to move these to the PS Plus collection is a good thing for PS Plus subscribers, obviously, but it's kind of a kick in the teeth for PS Now subscribers like me. There has been very little information on how PS Now is going to work on the PS5. This comes at the same time where Microsoft and Xbox are really pushing Xbox Game Pass to massive new heights. Obviously the new Bethesda deal was $7.5 billion, which I didn't didn't really register until I remembered that um, Disney bought LucasArts for three billion. So it's clear that Microsoft are making Xbox Game Pass really the forefront of this generation. Um, there's plenty of uh, reading out there that you can do that supports this. There's, I've even seen stuff where Xbox have basically said they are more concerned with, or they're more focused on Game Pass sales than actual console sales of the Xbox Series X. So we're really getting more of a divide, I think, with this next generation in terms of where these companies have their focus. It seems that PlayStation is hanging on to the traditional method of purchasing games and relying on that, whereas Microsoft is going down for the subscription route. Now, I don't think that either of these has to be right. There's still a situation where you can have both of these methods. I guess my main question is why Sony has chosen to create this new um, PS Plus collection instead of adding these games to PS Now and just keeping them on the service. Obviously, PS Now still has the ability to download PS4 games, and these are all PS4 games, so they could be on the PS Now library and this would make no difference. It just seems strange that PlayStation haven't combined PS Now and PS Plus the way Microsoft combined Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. Um, I don't know the reason, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a reason, but I just don't have one. And then there are other kind of question marks in terms of just Sony's commitment to PlayStation Now. Obviously, there's an, you're not able to download PS3 games if you're on your PS4 console. You can only stream them, which again brings up the problem with streaming and people aren't going to have a super fast internet connection. There's a pretty small library of PS2 games, even though there are hundreds of PS2 classics I'm sure lots of people will want to play. And a lot of the PS2 games are PS3 remastered, which again um, alienates that audience. It's just a shame to me because... Xbox is making a massive commitment to Game Pass and we're just not seeing the same commitment from Sony. And I understand that because PlayStation has earned the right to release games and have them sell out physical copies on day one because over this current generation, they have released a slate of fantastic exclusives. Whereas Microsoft has released barely any exclusives over this generation and they now need to use the subscription model to try and build people's trust back and know that you can pay this monthly cost and you might not like all of the games, but there's so much variety that chances are you're going to find enough value for money for that $15 monthly cost. Just the thought of a PS Now where Sony has the same level of commitment to its first party games as Microsoft does would be insane. Imagine Persona 5, God of War, 
The Last of Us 2, all of these games, imagine if they came out day one on PlayStation Now. And if Sony has that much support from its audience, they may be able to, you know, raise that price of PS Now to $20 a month, who knows? Um, obviously, they don't think that's financially viable for whatever reason, but I don't know, the thought of a full capacity, full potential PS Now versus, versus the current state of Game Pass really seems like an interesting conversation to have. But that's just a, a kind of massive digression. Um, the news is, I, I do think this PS Plus collection is is a good uh, deal. I mean, it's free if you're on PS Plus already, as I imagine the majority of people are. Where that leaves PlayStation Now and the bulk of this channel's videos, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I guess that's everything. Um, on the topic of this channel, if you are new here, um, this is Video Game Subscription Wars, where I cover every game on every video game subscription, which is PS Now, and I guess such should soon be PS Plus, um, but I don't actually have a PS4, so I can't really do that right now. But maybe if I somehow get some money, I'll get a PS5 and we can start doing those types of things. But anyway, <laughs> the PS Now library is still very good, despite um, everything I've just said. <laughs> Um, and I have lots of uh, videos that break down all the different games by genre, because another thing about PS Now is that its library, the, the, the library layout is not very good. So it can be actually quite difficult to find all the different games that are on there. Anyway, go check out those videos. I'm about to drop two of them right here, um, right here and here. And um, you go crazy. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.